on, Ivan? Hey, what's up, man? And hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, we have a very special video. Today, we're gonna have the 911, the shop 911 on the dyno. We're gonna take some baseline, and then we're gonna improve some uh, some things on the car. Really, really, really simple. And then we're gonna see what it put out afterwards. Um, setup on the car is completely stock. The only thing modified on the car in terms of the uh, drivetrain is the uh, exhaust. It's got a, a top speed exhaust. Uh, it's got the sport system from the factory, so it's also equipped on the exhaust. So you can hit the sport button and then the, uh, the exhaust open up uh, all full pipes to be open. So let's see what it does on the baseline with that. Uh, typically, typically these cars are right around 350 to 355 short of speed. Um, I don't know what it would do with this exhaust, if any difference, and then we're gonna install something really nice that you guys are about to see and then see what it does. Uh, so right now, uh, we just fired up the car, we're gonna let it warm up, and more importantly than just letting the car warm up by the coolant temperature, we're gonna watch and monitor the oil temperature. It's really important before we start uh, doing any pulls in the car that the oil temperature is exactly where it needs to be. Uh, we're also running liquid Molly uh, oil, we're running the blaze loud, and we're also running MOS, like always. On all of my oil changes, I like running that stuff. It reduces temperature, it reduces friction, and it makes the uh, engine health overall just better. So uh, let's see what it does after it warms up. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So let me. I'm gonna take over the camera for a second. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean when temperature matters. So right now we have about operational, you know, temperature on the coolant. But take a look at that. The oil is not even at 150 degrees just yet. So that right there, guys, is really important before you start ribbing this thing all the way up to 7500 RPM. So let's, uh, let's see if we can help. So coolant is already up there. Uh, means that there, there's definitely some temperature on the oil and the engine. So I'm gonna start uh, rotating the vehicle on the dyno and uh, see if we can, you know, increase the temperature. I wanna see somewhere in the 175, maybe shy under 200, right before we start to get into the poles and then uh and then we'll see how it goes after that oil pressure looking good you know obviously as you rev the motor then then uh the pressure will increase but let's see how it goes let's go for a little spin and uh we should be good to go what I meant now we got a little bit more temperature right there now, of course we're gonna have all kinds of lights but that will go away um, that is definitely at the temperature I want to start we are going to turn off the option so the exhaust is quieter we're gonna measure um, what it does without the sport and then we're gonna press the magic button again we'll see what it does in the dyno on the graph and everything and then we'll come back at it with uh, something a little bit more spicy. Let's see. On uh, no, just no sport button, quiet exhaust. The exhaust will open no matter what. And then we'll go from there. Let me uh, get out of the car, make sure the, the straps are tight. on no sport let it rest for a second and i'm gonna do two pulls on sport and then
Let's take a look. This, this measurement is SAE, uh, the other type of measurement standard, there's just two ways, two way of measuring. Um, SAE typically loads, uh, it's low reading, we're going to see the standard with high reading um, and see what that compares to. But also what I'm interested for um, is to see what the sport actually ends up doing, which I don't think is doing that much more. I think it's more just to get the uh, throttle a little bit more crispy, it gives you a little bit of a verbal when you let off the gas and open up the exhaust, which at the end of the day, it's typically what ends up happening when you're when you hitting that button. I, I don't know if you guys noticed, um, when we're on no, no sports, as soon as you are full throttle and the vehicle is a certain range of RPM, the exhaust still opens up and allows free flow to uh, go through it. So that is probably why we're not seeing that much of a difference on sports throttle, but let's take a look. So as of right now, we have, I'm gonna clean the grass, but kind of going through the best one. Um, this is the first one, 337. I've never paid attention to that one so much, simply because I'm just for the first time learning the dyno and learning the uh, the curve of what the RPM uh, snapshot is going to be looking like and whatnot. Um, but let's see the second one and the last one. So we have literally no changes. One horsepower difference is literally nothing. Uh, so, but our, our best number is 343. Um, the one horsepower is going to barely, yeah, barely, 0.9 of the horsepower really isn't a difference. So, we can, we can determine that the car is putting down 343, and this is an SA wheel uh, measurement. We're about to switch to the standard and see what the high rating is. Alright, guys, yes, we have learned a little bit of timing with the uh, with the UPS guy could not be better. We just got our access port, so we're gonna install this bulb key. We're gonna get it uh, right on the uh, ECU and see what reading we get right after this. Let's see how many packets are in it, and uh, maybe, maybe we're able to find the timing just with the bulb. Guys, if you're concerned about warranty, never do this. All right, please. And this is off-road use only. Stage one. Really important guys. 
this is the stage one and transmission calibration for those of you guys that have the PDK, but I don't. Um, and this is the Porsche cat part. Um, and this is the codification that they also license that they're providing. It's really important to get this installed. This is the magic cable to install into the laptop. guys you guys you Porsche guys um, it's not 11 they take a little longer to refresh for all your uh, for all you Subi, Subi guys out there this process is a lot quicker all right um, install successful Ooh, installation successful now we are ready to go all right well, let's see what it does I hope. <laughs> Now we have a 3, what, 308. 
that is definitely something we're gonna end up seeing and improving on probability wise. Um, there's also a tune for uh, 100 octane. I want to try uh, 100 octane fuel and see what that does. And now uh, let's see if I can get in the lab to see if I can play with some numbers here uh, in a second. And I'll show you guys. And uh, if we can get another horsepower, another two horsepower, that would be great. Um, but also focusing on the more that would be that would be the big change. And that would make your car feel a lot more uh, comfortable. Um, notice one thing too. Um, out of our pet, out, out of our last run, the grab is significantly smoother. Um, and not only that, but the port comes earlier. Yeah, it's a little bit earlier than expected. So definitely, this right here is gonna feel like a better punch.